Okay, so what we're going to do in this video is go over the details on what you need to create your patent drawing. Now, a lot of people, when they're ready to do this, they go to USPTO online and get those details directly, right? That's the right thing to do. Unfortunately, it's not really formatted for just the drawing standards. So what we're going to do is go through the document. We're going to pull out the information that you need. There's going to be a lot of information that you don't need. And there's going to be some that you may need, but I'm just not going to cover it in this video. For example, sectional views, creating views and cross sections, things like that. It's not really going to be covered in this, but most of it will be. All right. And here's a tip. If you're ready for this process, your first impulse is to come here and read from the top down, right? Wrong. Read from the bottom up. Let me show you what I mean. Go down all the way to the bottom. And we're just going to find just what we need. We're going to create notes into our own document format. Now, there's a lot of material. So when I do this, uh, I'm going to kind of speed things up a little bit so that in the end, we just have what we need. So let's get started with that process.
Okay, we're all set. We've captured all the details that we need for a patent drawing. Now it's just a matter of formatting the document a little more to make sure that we can read it easily. So I'm gonna do some formatting here. I'm gonna speed it up again. Okay, that just about does it for some of the notes. I'm gonna to try to turn this into some official documentation so that just about anybody can use it in their workflow if needed. Now I tried to polish it up as much as possible during this video. 
You can see I added some tables to, to increase the legibility of some of the content. Eventually I'm gonna add probably a lot of different figures to it to help visualize some of that content and pretty much make it overall uh, like a, a pretty good guide to get started. Okay, so why did I do this? Uh, the reason is very simple. For anyone who might be looking for this information, they're gonna have a couple of questions. Number one, is the data accurate? When the documentation was created, where did they get that content? And if you have a video showing how you created the document, you can pretty much know that I went through an official medium to get this information, that all the data is current up to 2018, right? And so that, that's, that adds some confidence to the information you're actually looking at. And I'm gonna be referring to the standards document that I created here for future videos. People might ask, well, how do we know? How are we sure, right? If they wanna know how it was created or when it's created, I can simply refer to this video. So that's why. Hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.